Hi, I'm Adam from YoYota. In this quick tip, I'll show you how to filter snapshots in the project browser in order to speed up a conform. To follow along, you will need a copy of YoYota with the conform option enabled. Let's get started. So why would you want to filter snapshots before conforming? The conform option uses the visible snapshots in the project browser to conform against. As we have discussed in other videos, Yoyota creates snapshots every time you start a job, complete verification, or if you click the store index button in the source browser. Over the course of a project, there can be hundreds of snapshots visible in the project browser. If we used all of them to conform against, we could have a lot of multiple matches to wade through. I'll open the project browser and click Open Projects. I'll then select the Yoyota Quick Tips collection and open the Filtering Conforms project. This project has been set up to mimic the data path for a feature film or TV show. The camera cards were copied to a shuttle drive and then sent to a post house where the data was archived to a set of main and safety LTO tapes. As you can see, we have multiple source and copy snapshots. If we were to conform against this, Yoyota would find multiple matches for each shot. We would then have to manually go through and remove the duplicates. Let me show you. I'll close the project browser and open the conform window and drag in an EDL. Yoyota passes the EDL and populates the edit table and the matched shots table. If we look at the first event in the edits table, we can see that there are 12 matches in the matched shots table. In a previous quick tip, we used the include exclude filters to help us narrow down the results. The issue this time is that a lot of the multiple matches have the same codec, type, resolution, and path information. Yoyota will use the first available match in the matched shots table when conforming. While it is not necessary to remove all the duplicates, it is often a good idea for the sake of clarity. To find a match, we would need to manually remove the duplicates for each event in the EDL by clicking the Remove button. This is fine for a handful of shots, but would be very inefficient when dealing with hundreds or thousands of them. I'll refresh the EDL to remove those changes. Let's go back to the project browser and reorganize the snapshots to make our life a bit easier. The snapshot filters are located underneath the snapshot table. They allow us to show or hide the types of snapshot as well as filter by media type. We can filter by all media, online media, all drives, all LTFS, main LTFS, and safety LTFS. In this case, Yoyota refers to odd numbered LTO tapes as main and even numbered LTO tapes as safety. There are several ways of naming LTO tapes, and these are discussed in more detail on the Yoyota website. It is worth noting that the snapshot filters are persistent, so it is always a good idea to set them back to their default values before you quit Yoyota. I'll click on the media column in the snapshot table to sort the list and then scroll down. We have snapshots for Macintosh HD and YOY001 and YOY002 LTO tapes. If we look in the kind column, we can see that we have source and copy number one snapshots. I know that the source snapshots no longer contain the required files as the project was archived to tape. The main tape stayed with the post house and the safety tape was sent to the studio. I'll click on the all media filter and set it to main LTFS in order to select just the odd numbered tapes. The snapshot table updates and only shows the YOY001 copy number one snapshots. Using this filter has reduced the number of snapshots from 29 down to seven. I'll close the project browser and open the conform window. I'll click the refresh button to update the conform. Now I only see four matches per clip, but all the entries in the matched shots table are grayed out. This is because the required LTO tape is not in the tape drive or in any of the tape slots in a library. Load the tape and then click the refresh button under the conforms list. The matched shots table now shows a green tick next to each entry to say that they are available. I can then use the include exclude filters to find a match. I'll select each item in the matched shots table and look at the path. I know that I need to conform the B-RAW clips from the OCN folder. 
I'll type BRAW in the Include Codec field and OCN in the Include Path field. The Edits table updates and displays a green tick next to each event. I can then press Add Conform to add it to the jobs list, add a destination, and press the green button to start the job. And there you have it how to filter snapshots prior to conforming in Yoyota.